Welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. I'm a little bit late to the party, but I had to get it because of the really good reviews going on. When there's articles out there that say that developers call Baldur's Gate 3 an anomaly and not something you should expect in the overall quality of games, it makes me want to play this even more. Apparently this game is super super good. I have managed to keep myself out of the spoilers, but I have played a lot of Dungeons and Dragons in real life, and I plan on recreating one of my favorite Dungeons and Dragons characters. Uh, I, this is a yellow note card, but it's even more magical when I green screen it out. This is Azor Lajor, my enchantment wizard. Uh, I do like the fact that in Dungeons and Dragons, you basically get to adjust the story a lot and apparently this game might be able to handle it so let's throw crazy high charisma combined with cheating social magic and see how Baldur's Gate 3 can handle it. Only option I've changed is turn the karmic dice off because the dice should be random. Uh, there will be no save scumming here because the dice speak for the adventure. Chat is telling me that um, they wouldn't laugh at me for picking balanced, uh, but for a strategic mastermind like myself, I should pick tactician. All right, we'll go with tactician. That a lich? <laughs> oh, is that me? Is that me? <laughs> oh, that's a mind flare. Wait, is that an intellect of our? Yikes. Are we the bad guys? This is a really cute character I have that's a custom high elf barbarian. What? Race features. Ah, okay, so it looks like being an elf lets you have nine meters, some weapons, dark vision. Okay. Are there like no stat modifiers in this game compared to Dungeon Dragons, so it doesn't really matter? Races don't impact stats. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll choose whichever class has the coolest features then. Every race gets plus two, plus one where you want. Okay, very nice. Uh, that is, that's the way it should be, so that you don't feel like you are obligated to pick the Gnome. Alright, anyways, uh, so it looks like picking an elf gets me charmed and magic sleepiness, whatever. Uh, fire resist. These race features look very uh, minimal. Wow, the uh, human proficient, that looks like a really big bonus. Uh, this is like a, this to me is a really big bonus. Uh, I'm assuming that... Persuasion is going to be one of my main things. 
Anyways, I probably should pick the wizard first, since that's what I plan on doing. Um... Alright, now let me choose the race. Yes. Ruthlessness born from Mind Flare Enslavement. Gain proficiency in all skills of a chosen ability until long rest. That seems pretty OP. It just keeps getting better and better as you go higher. Yeah, that seems pretty good as being uh, the Charisma Mastermind. Uh, dwarf? Useless? Half-elf? Useless. Apparently high elves get a cantrip. I don't know where it's listed there. It doesn't even say. Shouldn't that be a race feature? Hmm. Maybe I've been missing out on. So like, there's a cantrip that you get for picking elves. Check sub races for additional bonus. Sub races. Oh, right there. I see. Sub-race features. You get a high elf cantrip. Oh, okay. The tieflings. You get a cantrip, a cantrip, or a gain advantage on intimidation and performance checks. It's fun. Drow. No difference. Human. No subrace. Gith, no subrace. Gold dwarf. Shield dwarf. Dwigger. Wood half elf. Drow half elf. Halfling. Lucky. Never lucky. I'm probably going to pick Gith, a Yankee, because that looked insane if I have bonuses on all charisma skills. I'm the type of player who picks actor as a feat. Alright, I think I'll go with Gith Yankee. Because that astral knowledge class action seems insane. Uh, let's see. Change your cantrip selection by choosing from the spell list below. Cantrips don't use spell slots and can be cast at will. So I have Firebolt, Mage Hand, and Ray of Frost. Seems like a good basic three, but is there something that is a talky cantrip? Oh, it's friends. We have to take friends. Gith have Mage Hand by default. Oh, so we don't have to take Mage Hand here. Ah, Minor Illusion. This, uh... Illusion and Enchantment are my two favorite uh, spell schools because they do the wildest things that aren't necessarily... that, like, kind of break the rules. Uh, and we'll have to see how well Baldur's Gate handles it, because Illusion and Enchantment are like crazy spell schools. They don't just do damage. Uh, spells. Spells require spell slots, blah blah blah. So Mage Armor seems like a good pick. Fog Cloud. Not get rid of that trash. Grease. Get rid of that trash. Thunderwave, get rid of that trash. Sleep, now that's the good stuff. Magic Missile, that's probably useful. Okay, what do we got here? Burning Hands, Charm Person. You gain advantage on Charisma checks in dialogue. Well, that's pretty insane. It's the entire reason for uh, this class. Uh, disguise Self, that might be cool. Uh, 
And I already have mage armor, good choice. Shield could be useful. Ta Tasha's hideous laughter. That's fun. Uh, as you see, I'm leaning heavily into enchantment as the flavor here. Okay, we got one damage spell, magic missile, and we got a bunch of charm stuff. Very good. Uh, what are your rules regarding backseating? I am fine with general advice, no plot spoilers. Uh, and I'm not necessarily here to make the best character. I want to flavor this wizard as an enchantment wizard. I don't know if you like specialize as a wizard when you gain more levels. Uh, but my character here is based off of Zora Lajor, who is an enchantment specialist wizard. Alright, anyways, obviously we have the plus two to intelligence. Oh, and I'm going to be uh, having charisma. And we will dump the wisdom to have more charisma. And we will dump the dex to have more charisma. And we will dump the con to have more charisma. This looks like it's a more generous point buy in that you can uh, really max out these stats. I think I want to have um, the decks be 13. So that when I level up, I'm, I'm like going off of my D&D &D knowledge here. Uh, when I get like plus two stats, I'll put one into dex and one into intelligence. I don't know anything about how feats work or if they are even in the game. Oh, I guess in... Oh yeah, I mean, I can't push this up to... Anyways, this looks fun. Oh, I guess if there's no down... I could just do 14 and 16. Yeah, that's right. There's no reason to... Anyways, I don't know if there's a good feat that will only add one to intelligence, in which case it would make sense to do... Oh, this is point by. Anyways, prepare spells. You can only cast from a limited selection of spells. Ah. Alright, uh... I'll probably need mage armor by default. I guess no shield for now, that's a good choice. Charm person, sleep, magic missile, if I need to do some damage, I guess. That's fine. Okay, cool. So, Gith by default can wear... Armor proficiency. Wow, I'm not used to a wizard being able to wear medium armor. Okay, I guess we don't need uh, mage armor. That's cool. Uh, let's see, what was one of the spells that I perhaps would have liked? <laughs> Triple a creature's jumping distance. Where's my detect a magic? Someone a familiar, a face spirit that takes an animal form of your choosing. Eh, it's probably good. Apparently there are free casts? I have no idea. 
Anyways, I'll just go off of my instincts here. What do we got here? Initiative plus two. Tav. HP Tav. Uh, abilities. So, we certainly want Arcana, Investigation, since I'm Intelligence, Insight, Religion. So, I'm definitely trying to be a Persuasion person. So, it looks like I have to change my background in order to have talky skills. Guild Artisan, Insight and Persuasion. Seems good. History, Persuasion. That might be good. But it looks like I'll have to choose something with the skill of persuasion. So noble looks good. You get them all with the gith ability. Gain proficiency in all skills of a chosen ability. Oh, you don't even have to have the skill chain. Interesting. Okay. Oh, Gif's pretty strong. Alright, well then. Seems like I can be a bookish nerd. Where is that sage? Arcana and history. But the class of the wizard. Let's see. This probably already had a lot of these uh, skill proficiencies. Inherited from background. So let me think about which skills I'll actually want. I know being a wizard surely already uh, has these two. So what skills do I want to inherit? Oh, it's sorted by a stat. That's uh, so much better than the usual character sheet. Here, we can know all the nerdy stuff. Religion. Uh, religion investigation, I guess you can only pick two, so that seems pretty good. Yeah, I don't think I needed any of the other stuff. Yep. My insight is like a minus one already, so I don't think I need that skill. We'll just uh, have to go off of my own gut instinct. Your backgrounds don't just affect proficiencies, it gives you options and dialogue and bonuses. Okay, whatever. Well, I kind of want to find out all the cool stuff about the world, so being a sage is pretty good. Uh, I also would like to talk to people a lot, but I guess we'll use the gif for that. Alright, so I think I've got it set here. So we have a custom gif wizard. I picked up Firebolt, Minor Illusion, and Friends. Find Familiar, Charm Person, Shield, Hideous Laughter, Sleep, and Magic Missile. A heavy Enchantment build. We got the Sage background. Focusing on Intelligence and Charisma. The four prepared spells will be Charm Person, Sleep, Laughter, and Missile. And time to uh, make him look pretty. Where to next? Wait, is that my male voice? Hmm. What was that? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hell, oh. something just woke up down here. Body type. I see. Be wary. 
It's opened. I want more. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Where to next? Hmm. Well, let's hope the locals are friends. Hells. Something just woke up down. Be wary. It's opened. I wonder what's back there. I'm going for a scholarly voice. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Hmm. What was that? Hells. Something just woke up. It's opened. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I think number three sounded really good. Aura. Yeah. Um... Alright, let's uh let's roll it until I get a good one. That's actually pretty good. I only had to click randomize three times, but like if it rolls that well, it's just fate, isn't it? Looks exactly like a Gith Rocky uh, Charisma Wizard. I thought so too. Man, I don't even think I need to change anything more about it. We're we're done. All right, and we will name the wizard. Uh, according to my DMD character, Zor Lajor. A uh, fancy wizard name. I think we're ready to go. That was uh, nice and easy. Good? Question mark? Thanks for your help in character creation. Alright, proceed. You need a guardian. Okay, so I guess this is gonna have to be the muscle. Because uh, we need some random person to tank for me. Uh, let's see. Oh, we don't actually command anything about this, so we just choose race. This is not your party member. You don't play them. I see. Is there a randomize button? Randomize appearance. Oh, I see. So that randomizes everything. Cool. Cutscene person makes something good to look at. Well, that was a pretty good random. Oh no! <laughs> oh wait. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'll click random until I come up with something good. I thought this was pretty good, but I'll, I'll go behind... I'll go for door number two. That one was pretty good with the green hair, too. That one's pretty good. It's too bad you can't, like, save it and then, like, go back to it. an interesting one. Oh, you can go previous generated appearance. Nice. I see it.
I'm a little bit tempted by this one. Thoughts? Only 15 random slots? Yeah, okay. Go back to Green Hair Lady. Yeah, this one was pretty cool. Seems like a cool, uh, guardian. One before this is nice, too. Now, this is your traditional good-looking guardian. We have the pink hair theme as well. This one's got the, uh, looks kind of cooler than usual. I liked the tiefling with blue skin. What random was that? Oh, was it this one? This one looks very scholarly. And, like, calm. Oh, wait, that's a half elf. Tiefling with blue skin. Oh, this one. Oh, that one was pretty cool, too. Man, all these randoms are pretty good. I kind of like that, too, honestly. All the random rolls are so good. But we already have such a cool one, I don't think we need to roll anymore. Alright, I think this one is pretty good. Put body type 3. No, I'm gonna go with a 1. Do I have a typo in my stream? Let's see. Finally playing Baldur's Gate, planning on some sort of Charisma Wizard build. Oh, Baluder. All right, let's well, roll. I think a Tiefling uh, fits an enchantment Wizard Guardian really well. So this is an interesting backstory. I guess I am an intellect devourer? Or maybe this is not me at all. Oh no! Invite those dragon riders to join my party. Hey, oh. 
This is wild, it's like, which character am I? <laughs> Where am I? What does this have to do with me? Cool little background, I guess. That was similar to me. Is this my mom? I have to get myself into the mindset that I'm a gift. There's me, glorious. Finally free. I must find my kin. Wow. Okay. Anyways, uh, I saw the question asked. I have played Dungeons and Dragons for quite some time, so I know what a Mind Flare is. And this looks like a Mind Flare lair. I am free, never to be captured again. This is the pool it came from, the gay parasite that has violated your mind. Oh, I'm good at investigation. Yes. First check success. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. What the? It exploded. Someone else got out. Might be other survivors. Gake prison. One of the nine hells. Hmm. Wow, mind flare. Loot the mind flare. Amethyst. Chut Shing. Dead. Good. Wonder who was inside. Here goes nothing. Oh, odd. I feel better. I think I just wasted the healing thingy. Oh, it comes back. Ah, sphincter. Excellent.
images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. Anyone hear anything? Is that just me? Oh, by the way, should I be turning up the sound a little bit? I think I should. A little bit up. Brain jar. A feeling penetrates your mind. An anomaly, one like ourselves, unconnected from the whole. Caution. Oh, that's cute. My little table. Worlds beyond worlds flash before your eyes. Empires of a grand design traversed by ships just like this. Brain jar. A schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews. Cool it's author voice or narrator voice. Ship. Help us. Huh? Operation. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the Mind Flayers who abducted you. They failed Please. perception. Before they return! They return. It seems like a success to me. Get the Yankee, a pet of Geik scum, destroy the intellect of our while it's vulnerable. Uh, what do you want? Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Ooh, inspect. Aha! You notice a demon, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Hmm. Let's see, I think medicine was a wisdom check. Gently prize the brain. The way I see it is I'm supposed to be an ally of these intellect devourers, I think. Or will it eat my brain, but it already is eating a brain. You can mouse over the word to see how good you are. I see. Gith Yankee. Maybe we can look around a bit more. I'd rather not have my brain eaten. I think this is the place to make my decision though. Look, there's more lore around here. A thousand years of humanoid history, elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. I think I'm an intellect devourer right now. So shouldn't I free my fellow intellect of our? Oh, 
Holy cow. <laughs> let's let's stay in here. Doesn't do anything. Surely, you can't make a terrible decision this early. Gently prize the brain. Unlucky. <laughs> the brain won't budge. Hmm. Another option? Question mark. Try again. Don't leave us. Please don't. Please don't leave us. Well, I guess it's time to destroy it. Yeah, it's so violent. Oh, no loot. Brains. Brains? Nothing but brains. Curious. Doesn't do anything. Alright, nothing here but us brains. I'm a good guy. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the gith's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? <clears throat> Squall, you are no thrall. Blackith blesses me this day. Well? What made you think I was a throne? Yourself. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay, mind players. Oh no! We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate okay. the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. I see we are a gith party. Taka! Combat. The game pauses around you during actions. You can move, take an action, and take a bonus action. Show your actions. Green. Click. That's a lot of buttons. Showed your bonus actions. Wow. She seemed a lot tougher than just a level 1 fighter. Okay. So. We have two level 1 spells. Well, I probably should be casting Firebolt, is what I reckon. Uh, 
looks like the two of us go first. That's right, I almost forgot. I need to make sure that my camera is in a fine spot. It looks like it's in a good spot, right? It hasn't been covering up anything. Incinerated Mind Flare. Oh my god, look at all this loot! Probably gonna hit my inventory limit soon, taking all this trash. But until I get told that I have too much loot, we will take all the loot. Not enough space. Illithid Cradle. Oh. Why did I pick wizard over sorcerer? Uh, it's because I am trying to mirror my D&D character, an enchantment wizard. Enchantment specialist! Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Good to see fellow... Baldur's Gate enjoyers here. Hi, Nana. Seems These sphincters are so wonderfully disgusting. This is so crazy how you can like control the camera like this. Ah, yes, we shouldn't just randomly click this button. Good idea. Open up. Funk. Gold. Agate. Let me out! Let me out. You! Get me out of this damn thing! Don't waste time on Istic. We must go. Wizard Arcana. Ooh. <laughs> no, we need to study this more. Um, the things linked to the console. Touch. Man, 
And so many crazy buttons. Dark Mind. Manuscript. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a good Yankee warrior, and centuries of darkness. Need the key. You need thieves' tools to pick a lock or find the key. That looks bad. Oh! What the? Hello? Wait, 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 come back, buddy! What? That was crazy. Flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. The man isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. I get the feeling that we have to kill these guys and it'll power down the machine. That's dark. Light flickers in his eyes. Oh, got XP for that. Very good. Can I command this person? Oh, yeah. I crave blood. Go hit that guy with your stick. Uh, what's this? Main hand attack. Let's move. Wow, a bronze ring. These boots have seen everything. Alright, I guess it's time to hit the random button. Touch. The console appears dormant. Inscribe the device with the glyphs you sensed from the pod's warding runes. Okay, smart. The console hums to life. Ooh. Wisdom. Will the pod to open? Cool. <laughs> no. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and reject it. Try again. Try again. Feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command. No, try again! This is why you want to save scum! The DC was two! Come on! I'm so sorry! The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Stay calm. Keep action looks the action. You give it a shot? The console hums steadily, awaiting command. Arcana. Oh. Sure. 
Wow. The pulsing glow and organic lights of the device make perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Oh, very good. Connection. So there are two chances. Authority. Just gotta not get a one, huh? You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Wow. Lazel started a conversation. No, wrong person. Character select. Oh no. What the? Okay. Mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness because you're a gif. You're a gif? Why did you help me? Swap. <laughs> Oh, okay. I guess there's a conversation between these two. And you expect what in return exactly? Guess Yankee aren't given to charity. That's what your kind does. They take. Still, you did help me. We both need all the help we can get. Let's try to get off this thing together. All right, the power of friendship. Wait, you're not actually the one in charge of this. <laughs> no offense, but I need to speak to a leader, someone who knows where they're going. Okay, let's see. Do I click two and then talk? All right. I'm afraid not. What? Good luck to you. I'll take my chances alone. What? Because I talked with the wrong character? Hold on. Still Wait. Breathing, despite everything. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. All right. One moment. What's that? Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. Best be on my way. You're right, cleric. And you open elaborate reliquary, cleric. Always shop. Lazel. All right, you're gonna need to smash it. Some objects are unusually strong, and you need to deal enough damage at once to actually damage them. Oh, can we just pick this up? That's cool. Oh, nice. No one stopped me yet. Slow down. Let's see. Hello? We are one. Something the matter. <laughs> Besides the obvious, that is. You can call Zorla, me Zorla Jor, by the way. Pondering my name won't get us off this ship. Let's stow the small talk until we're safe, shall we? Well, jumping overboard is hardly an option. So that leaves us with taking control of this ship. Provided we can figure out how to do that, of course. I'm right behind you. 
What a friendly companion. Traps keys. Oh, a key. Wait, buddy, Lazel. Eager for battle. Items. Common. Where'd the box go? Did I pick it up with this girl? I for inventory. Oh, mysterious artifact. Okay, so I've got a key. A gold key. Oh, enough waiting. I crave Elaborate blood. reliquary. I am going to have my uh, party of all women. Awesome. Maybe if I can figure out how to open this thing. That, that will fit in my pack. A brain slave in a mind. might unlock those controls next to the pod. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Oh. Uh oh. Change her. Changed at the pull of a lever. How? I don't think we can take on a mind flare. Purified. This may be our fate. This, this cannot, must not be our fate. Holy cow, I could be a mind flare? The newborn mind flare stares at you, weak and dazed. Alright, probably best not to open this one. I have something to ask. appear in your mind a brain a githyanki warrior and centuries of darkness another brain are we collecting oh. brains very good We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. King Yank. Let's see. There was a way out, wasn't there? Went through this way. Is 
Is that where I came from? I can't remember. No, that's the Mind Flare. I must have already taken that path or something. My only weakness is navigation. Reach the transponder before the Nautiloid crashes. Fifteen turns. The Mind Flare appears to be our ally. Okay, this is really weird. This lesser imp is not my ally. I will ascend. I will not know failure. Where do I go from here? I will take a loot action. What do we got here? A lesser Hellsborn. Looting is a free action, very good. I wonder why some of these are green and some are yellow and some are red. I'll probably figure out the pattern someday. Did you just step on the fire and take damage? Oh my god. Why are you so dumb? Am I the dummy? We have any ranged attacks. Guiding bolt seems a little bit overkill. Any cantrips? Sacred flame. You're low on hit points, use a healing potion to recover. Take the disengage action. Leave melee range without opportunity attacks. I am fury. I am death. Never a dull moment. My wizard is holding a lot of loot. damage firebolt my path be true should check for anything useful Already went through here, right? Yes. Oh, 
man. My mind flare, but he's gonna die soon. Oh no, panic! I can't take on this guy. Let's see, is there a dash action? Which I possibly should have been taking? Dash. Oh no, tell me I didn't just get an opportunity attack range of this guy. Oh no. Victory awaits. Make way. Well, the good news is it told me about disengaging. this character's turn click to jump to the character who it is all right time to strike on my way Ostic bulbs. If this ship hits the ground, we're dead. Disengage, disengage. I don't know if this guy would opportunity attack me. Probably would. And then I'd probably die. this loot? Hmm, alright. Do you have a ranged weapon? Short bow. For Zorla Jor to catch up I here. If this is worth the cost. Time to deal some punishment. <laughs> You're so useless, Shadow Girl. Unlucky. Oh, wait, did you just attack twice?
Did you just attack twice in one turn? Nothing will stand in my way. Oh, they missed the opportunity attack on you. I see. I, it looked like I wasn't leaving its range, but I know what an opportunity attack is. One. Very good. And my poor wizard only has two HP. Give me that bonus action. Healing word. This is the Shadow Heart turn. Come a little closer. Take this shit. It's your turn now. Whoa, whoa. Holy. Oh my god, I'm screwed! It's a level 8! <laughs> what? I, I went as fast as I could this way. probably don't even know how to dash, so I figured I was ahead of schedule. Can we uh, heal with Potion of Healing on someone else in this game? Nope. Bonus action. Very good. Terrible. Throw potions on people. That's certainly what I was trying to do. A throw potion. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright. Disengage. I guess I used my action to do that. Okay, Commander Azalk has 163 hit points. This seems like a bad situation to be in. Let's see, I think this guy is not in range of me, so I'm only getting opportunity attacked by this guy. Maybe I should attack this guy. Target is too close. Disadvantage. Eh. Good time to use magic missile. One. Two. Three. Oh my god, unlucky. Not enough resources for action. Oh, probably because she just got back up, I guess. Dip. Shove. Bonus action. Ah, what are my bonus actions? Shield of Faith. Sh 
shove, jump, dip, healing word. Shove, Commander Zalk. <laughs> Unlucky. I don't want to leave her. Ah, I keep hitting the wrong button. I guess a uh, throw a potion was not a bonus action. Where's my throw a butt? Throw the potion thing. Nine percent. Victory awaits. Come on, can't stay idle. We have a caustic bulb. Okay, so this will work on the ground. The entity was vulnerable to your attack and took double damage. I don't even know what took damage. The Cambian Lieutenant, maybe? Okay, I should probably take this opportunity attack. Don't waste a step. So close. No choice but to keep going. I wonder if the Hellborn and this uh, commander are allied. Maybe they're not. Wait, I disengaged. I disengaged. Oh, maybe I can't disengage. Anyways. Um, well, that was lucky. Oh, I probably should have cast a bonus spell there. Not that it matters, because these things probably all do way too much damage. Oh, hello. Here we go. Whoever balanced this game sucks. Why are you off against the level 8 commander? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, good tutorial. Now I know how to play. We must escape now. Do it. We will deal with the Geek after we escape. We need to get out of here now. Thank you. 
Okay. So the Mind Flare has 78 hit points. Oh, good opportunity attack. Why is it charging at me? Oh, the initiative order is different this time. Bonus action, second wind, shove, dip, pommel strike, oh. Take a moment and look at all the actions available. Hide, improvised, help, astral knowledge, topple, hideous laughter, whiz save, magic missile, firebolt, friends, scroll of revivify. Oh, I have one of those. Void a bulb. Throw dash, disengage, main attack, charm person, sleep, illusion. Okay, so basically, it's Firebolt. Ignis! Bonus actions. Potion of speed. Double your movement speed. Dick. See the cleric's actions, got guiding bolt, resistance, guidance, charm person, sacred flame. Protect that creature from attacks, increase its armor class by two. Man. Five percent to hit. Firebolt is ninety-five percent. Don't slow down. Can't give up. Why do I feel like I'm further this time than last time? Maybe because this time I actually realize <laughs> we're up against the clock. This guy to tank more. Action. Okay. The AC buff might be right. Strike. 
bonus action. Wait, this is not the clip. If this ship hits the ground, we're dead. Volto. Shield of Faith, protected creature. Way to go, cleric. Good action. A normal action? A sacred flame. Reach destination. My caustic bulb. Oh well. Thanks to my buffs, perhaps. Shadow Heart. Why are you so bad? strike must take a short rest oh it's a once per rest okay These guys were these the guys attacking us? They must have been, right? Let's see, one to ten damage.
Uh, only one spell left. We can hold it. That's Hellbell. Or. Second wind? How much damage is this doing? I don't think there's any way to see, right? Just guess? Probably not seven. Now I know how to throw potions. Throw the potion. The I wonder if my wizard should be the one who... You made it in time. Wait, that's my cleric. Okay. Well, she seems to know what she's doing. Oh, man. How are you not dead? I don't know what happens if I have my main wizard try to activate the uh, console. Mind Flayer, son. 